Taking the dog for a walk has often been a struggle for Andrew Conway. I got diagnosed back in 96 with um, viral cardiomyopathy and then it just progressed from there up until last February when I had a cardiac arrest in my sleep and died. The 55 year old has known a heart transplant was possible for 25 years but when he finally got one it was experimental. In a typical heart transplant the organ is transported in an ice slush that comes with the risk of primary graft dysfunction, a condition that means it can take months for the heart to be fully functional. But specialists at the Alfred Hospital are trialling a new device called a perfusion machine, which keeps the heart alive by pumping it with cooling oxygenated liquid, extending the time the organ can be safely kept outside the body and decreasing post-operative complications. If we can get rid of primary graft dysfunction, and not have patients sitting in the intensive care unit having to be supported by machines and drugs until their heart starts working, the results of heart transplantation will be even better than they are now. Using the machine, Mr Conway's new heart was kept alive for 7 hours and 18 minutes, a new world record. It took about probably about three or four days to actually sort of get the full grasp of it. It was a bit surreal, the first few days were surreal. But then um, when I was in a ward laying there and I had a good think about it, it was sort of hit me and it was, it was sort of a wow moment. Researchers say the device could be especially useful in large countries like Australia. By keeping the organs safely alive for longer, more can make it across the country to recipients instead of going to waste. Making it possible for people like Andrew Conway to enjoy basic pleasures. I've never been able to run so I'm going to go for a bit of a run and just do some bits and pieces, get myself a push by but he's got to learn to walk first. Erin Cooper, ABC News.